Welcome to your vinyasa yoga class to balance out your energy. Today we'll be moving through the seven major uh, chakras in the body. And before we do that, just take a moment and give yourself a pat on the back for rallying yourself to come onto your mat today. Maybe rallying someone else as well. So yoga is compared to like fine tuning an instrument where we look at where we share our energy or our attention, notice if we're in balance, and create space to extend compassion to ourselves and to others. So for today's practice, we're going to begin in child's pose. So coming in to child's pose with the knees wide, the toes coming to touch and stretching the arms out in front. So initially coming into this pause and get connected to your breath. Feeling the ground beneath you. And this deep breathing and inhalation through the nostrils and an exhalation out through the nostrils. Another breath in and a breath out. Walk your hands off to the right side of your mat and just slide your left hand on top of your right hand. So the side body is also known as your breathing body. So pulling the breath into the ribs, into the heart, as you relax your forehead down. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And notice all of the breathing room around you here. Like your hands are little spiders, you'll walk them off to the left side of the mat, sliding the right hand on top of the left, relaxing your forehead down. Deep, deep breaths here. If the deep breathing reassures your nervous system, okay, any nervous wiring in the mind and body here. The mind tries to take you out of the moment, just bring it right on back to the focus of the breath. And then walk your hands to the top of your mat and pull yourself up onto all fours and get strong and long for table pose. And then starting our cat and cows from the uh, pelvis, from the base of the spine, we're gonna drop the belly, taking a breath in, lifting the chest and chin up, arching the spine. And then exhale, pressing hands, tops of the feet and knees down into cat. Chin and tailbone come in. And then moving through these twice more. Inhale. Dropping the belly, arching the back. Exhale and round out your spine. And the chin and tailbone in towards one another. Last one here. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Sitting back up into table pose. We'll stretch the hands out in front, curl the toes under, and send the hip up and back into downward facing dog. And initially, as you come into down dog, you may notice you have to stretch yourself out a little further. Maybe you want to bring some movement into down dog. Go ahead and just do that, find a little freedom here. And after a little bit of movement, start to just settle into your downward facing dog. Okay, rooting down through the hands and all 10 fingers into the mat. And then softly close the eyes. And we want to visualize here where we're placing our energy, okay, where we're placing our attention. And to begin, we're starting with the first chakra. This is our root chakra. So this goes from the base of the spine to the feet. 
So just bringing your attention here, eyes closed, breath is deep and full, focusing on the lower half of your body. Take a breath in, roll yourself forward. Come into your plank pose. So in plank pose, we have our legs really firm, squeezing the quadriceps to the bone, the hamstrings press up towards the ceiling, the heels to the wall behind. And even squeeze the inner thighs towards one another like you're in a block between your legs. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, lower down all the way into your belly in one piece. Uncurl the toes. Fly the elbows into the ribs and lift up. We have three cobras in a row. So inhale this first one, just nice and gentle. And then exhale, lower the forehead down, lengthening out. The hands and tops of the feet press down. Inhale, lift up number two, maybe opening a little more. And exhale, release on down. Inhale, lift up cobra number three, make it your best yet. And exhale, release. And curling your toes under, firm up the legs, engage into the core, press up plank pose. Exhale, downward facing up. Deep breath out. Deep breath out. Take your hands and walk them to the back of your mat. And we'll meet in a forward fold. So hanging heavy. Grab opposite elbows. Come into your ragdoll. Let the head hang right between the biceps. Bringing your attention to your feet. Lift up all ten toes and spread out your toes. We're going to connect the heels. Really press the heels into the ground as well as a big toe mound into the ground. And then as you press down, start to work a stacking of the hips right over the ankles. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Relaxing the toes and the hands down to the ground. Toe heel the feet to touch. Inhale, lifts halfway for a flat back. And exhale, fold forward, release. Press down to reach up, inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, the hands into the heart. And arms down by your side. So this muladhara, this first energy center, has to do with our primary fears. So this is around survival, this could be around our family, with our money, our work. And so connect down into the ground and just feel all of the strength you have in these legs. We're going to continue to focus on this lower half, taking a deep breath in and reaching the arms up. And then exhale and fold forward. Take a breath in, lift halfway. Exhale, walk your hands back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up, but don't just fling it up. So working into the glute, into the hamstring, reach your right leg up, feel the activation. And then bend into your knee and peel the right hip open. Keep reaching the right knee up to the ceiling. Pressing your hands into the mat. And then squaring off the hip as you straighten the right leg, pointing the toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw the knee into the nose as you step the foot to your right thumb. Coming into your lunge here, we're going to lower into the hips, lift up the chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot to the right foot at the top of your mat and fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift halfway. 
exhale, plant your hands, lunging your left leg back, lowering into the hips, inhaling, lifting the chest, looking up. Exhale, hands plant as you step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, fresh breath in, upward dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, so our, our feet, our legs, they teach us we are here to bear weight. And we can handle challenges that come up in our life. And we are strong and capable. Taking this into the left side, we're going to reach the left leg up. Yeah, bend into the knee, peeling open the hip. Just yawn this open. Find your full expression. Pulling in to expand out. And then straightening the leg, squaring off the hip. Draw the knee to the nose to set the foot between the hands. Lowering into the hips as we lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Getting into a flow here. Half lift, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Reach the arms up, inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Hands plant, step the right foot back as you exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. So one of the best things you can do when you are feeling fear or feeling um, out of balance in this first energy center is to get connected to the earth. So this is great to practice yoga, right? Hands and feet on the ground. Great to go for a hike or garden. We're going to take the right leg and reach it back up to the sky. Just nice and straight this time. Breath in. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, rise up into your crescent lunge. And in this crescent lunge, use your breath. Use your positioning to come into balance. Check in with your breathing here. Get into a rhythm. And then hand into the heart. Airplane pose, working your weight into the right foot. Stretch your arms behind you. So the right heel presses into the ground as you squeeze the right glute. And then the same on the left foot, but it's going to press back and you're going to squeeze the left glute. Really strong in the legs. Take another inhale. And then feet to the floor, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hand. You can step, step, or maybe you're ready to hop it right back into your low plank. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, send the left leg straight up to the ceiling. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Rise up, crescent lunge. Yeah, just like before, take a moment. Be real intentional as you set up into this crescent lunge. The left hip, outer hip, which draws back. And then hands come into the heart. Airplane pose. Yeah, an airplane pose. Focus really here on the leg, but there's this little upward dog tilt of the chest. As you fall out, come right back in and slap it off. And taking both feet, landing into our forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Plant the hands, step, step, or hop it back and take your vinyasa. 
this flow, clear all of this out. Inhale. Exhale. So we're moving up from the first to the second. It's Parisana, and this is our intersection. This is our hips. A lot of energy gets stored here as well as our history. So take your right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open up your hip. Stay here or take flip dog. Take flip dog, you're gonna press down into the ground as you lift up the hips to the sky. I'm gonna take it back around to your three-legged dog. Right leg reaches, and then step it between the hands. Ground down your back foot, rise up, or your two pose. You will focus the drishti over the right hand, but breathe here into the hips. See if you can get the pelvis in line with your front knee. Breathe slowly, intentionally here. And flip your front palm and reverse into your peaceful warrior. The left hand can rest on the left leg as you reach up and back. And inhaling right into warrior two as you exhale, straighten the right leg, coming into trikonasana, your triangle pose. And continuing to breathe into the hips as you press the hips forward. It's strong and long through the sides. Bend into your front knee, rise back up, warrior two. And taking your hands to your hips, step your back foot forward as if you were coming into pyramid. So just squaring off the hips for a moment. And we'll come into eagle. Eagle pose wrapping the left leg around the right leg. And then the left arm underneath the right arm. And so eagle, we want to sit low into the hips. Okay, low into the leg, squaring the hips. Get the shoulders pinned into the back, but you can lift up the elbows. Breathing up, breathing up. The two more deep, full breaths here. And unwind the legs to the mat, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands and make your way through your hands. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, left leg reaches up. Bend the knee, open the hip and flip your thumb. Rooting into the feet, lifting up, scoop up, express out, finding that full expression. And then flip back, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Rise up, warrior two, on this side. And so warrior two, we're breathing into the hips, almost like there's a hairbrush coming from the crown of our head into the hips, and it's knotting out, um, getting out any knots, right, through that midline. And after a few deep breaths here, you take that palm, flip it, and reverse, peaceful warrior. And don't lose, check that front knee, don't lose the bend in that front knee. And inhale, warrior two. Exhale, left leg straightens. Reach forward and down. Triangle pose. And triangle, just working that square hips so they press forward as the shoulder blades draw back. And chin into the chest. You can start to look up towards your right thumb. And 
bend into your knee, rise up, warrior two. Hands to the hips, let's lift the back foot in for pyramid stance. And grabbing the hold of your balance and an eagle pose as the right leg wraps over the left. We'll then right, uh, wrap the right arm underneath the left. Your arms are like ropes here. We focus drishti. And wide feet to the floor, arms reach up, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Now take your feet about hip width apart. And take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. On an inhale, lift up for halfway. And then exhale, bend deeply into the knees as you drape your elbows to the sides of the room. Relax the head and neck here. Decompressing the spine, working into the hips. And releasing the big toes, toe heel your feet back to touch. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands into the heart. So here we're moving into our third, our um, third chakra, the solar plexus, also known as Manapara. And here, this is where our self-esteem lies, our confidence. So we're going to contract the core, pulling the belly up and in, and then twist over to the right. So as you twist over to the right, you're going to find your left elbow to hook onto your thigh. In the center is your inner Rocky. So give yourself a little word of encouragement. You can do this. You can do anything. And continue to contract the core as you rotate around the mid back and expand open the arm. Send the left fingertips to the floor or block as that right heart, the right arm spins open to the ceiling. And exhale. Fold forward, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. And twist off to the left. We want to rotate with a flat back. And then just not being afraid to blend in here, like we'll open up chair. This is what the center is all about, is experimenting and knowing we are worthy to try something, maybe be bad at it, that's okay. And fold forward, release. And shake out the head, maybe sway the hips off side to side. And just releasing any heaviness. And turning it into a groundedness. Go ahead and roll yourself all the way up to stand, reaching the arms to the ceiling, and the hands into the heart. Chair pose. And from chair pose, we'll take the hands into the heart and come into a standing figure four. So you're going to do your right side, I'll mirror you and do the left. But we're going to bring the right ankle up and over that left thigh. Once you're there, see if you can sit into the hips a little lower. And don't lose the connection of the core. Stay connected to that center. And we're going to take the back of the right hand onto the bottom of the right foot. Once you have that connection, take your left arm and stretch it up and behind you. So there's this little twist that comes from the center and it allows you to expand out through that left hand. Yeah, fall out and come back in. No worries at all. It's all part of the process. And we're going to bring the hands back into the heart center. It's a little like a Tai Chi move here. We're going to take that knee up into the chest. 
And then taking the opposite hand to knee, left hand to the right knee, take your left, um, right arm and stretch it behind you. Continue to press into the standing leg as you open up deeper into your twist. And then both hands come to the hips and lower the right leg to the ground. And then just go ahead and take a moment and shake that off. And then set up chair pose. You're low, like you're sitting into a chair, and then hook the left leg over the right. And repositioning here, and then hands into the heart. Left back of your hand to the bottom of your left foot. And then right arm reaches up. And if your breath isn't deep and full, see if you can bring that element back in. Finding that strength. Your hands come into the heart, drawing the knee into the chest, and taking the right hand onto the left knee. And begin to reach your left arm behind you, looking over that left shoulder. And just notice if you're continuing to draw that low belly up and in. Notice if you're breathing. And then work hands to the hips, coming forward and lowering the feet to the mat. Inhale, I'll reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way onto your back. And just lower one cheek onto the mat, arms by your side, and pause. So here we're moving into Anahata, the heart chakra. And this is all about having a strong back, but an open heart. So what better way to do that with some belly back bend? So preparing for locusts, we'll bring the arms by the side, and bringing the inner ankle bones towards each other. Your forehead's to the mat and you're gonna lift up using the strength of that back, using the lats, so using the shoulder blades to squeeze in, lifting up, inhale. And stay right here as you exhale. Challenging yourself to lift up, inhale. And then keep the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower down opposite cheek to the mat and just pause and feel the subtle effects of that pose. Start to breathe into the heart where we maybe congest it. Maybe create more space to be compassionate. Come into locus number two, forehead to the floor. Uh, interlace the hands this time behind your back. And then again, lift up. We're here, five breaths. Focus, intentional breath into the heart. And the heart creates this electromagnetic field that extends 360 degrees, three feet outside the body. Just breathe, expand it. And then lower down, releasing one cheek to the mat. Here, bend the knees and just windshield whip with the feet side to side. And so we can actually expand our bandwidth for the heart, we expand how loving we can be. Coming into floor bow next, you're gonna grab either the ankles or the backs of the feet. And then pressing your shin bones back, lift up bow pose. And this is just an extension of that locus. So deeper belly back bend, keeping the knees hugging in, with the heart lifting up. And then 
toes down, one cheek to the mat, legs, windshield wiper side to side. Then straighten your legs behind you and go ahead and just flip onto your back, setting up bridge. So continuing some back bends on our back. And bridge, you'll press the feet into the floor and lift the hips up to the sky. Take the hands in our legs and just tuck one shoulder blade underneath the body and then the other. And then see if you can focus your juicy onto your heart. Seeing where maybe you can be more loving, more forgiving, let go of expectations. And release the hands, lower it on one vertebrae at a time. And once you come onto the mat, you're setting up for another one, either bridge or wheel. Hands by the ears, press down, and then lift up. Bridge your wheel, five breaths. You're aligning all of the chakras here in wheel. Really big heart opener. Press the chest to the wall behind you. And we'll come onto our backs and set up into Supta Baddha Kanasana. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And just bring your hands wherever is most grounding. Maybe one hand on your heart, one on your belly, feet down by your side. And the third, um, next we're gonna move into the throat chakra. So just bring both hands up onto the throat. This is maybe the words that we hold back. If you feel free, open up the jaw. Maybe you can stick your tongue out. And then release your arms by your side. Take your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then straighten the legs up to the ceiling. You can slide a block underneath your hips here for hip stand. Or you can lift your hips up and take your hands onto the bull back and the elbows to the floor and just make a, work a straight line. And just here, start to work, uh, actually just start to feel the throat, the reversal of the typical flow of gravity. And the throat chakra is not just about what we say, but also what we hear. So we're built to listen more than we're built to talk. Okay, with two ears, one mouth. Just listening here. You could stay at shoulder stand or maybe work your way back into cloud. Just don't move your neck. <laughs> Keep your neck neutral. Maybe take your hands to interlace, press the hands to the ground. If you want, set up deaf man's pose, dropping the uh, knees towards the ears. And coming out mindfully from hip stand or shoulder stand, back onto your mat. And then from your mat, just roll to one side and we'll come up into a seat. So as we come into a seat, we're gonna move from the throat up into the third eye. In the third eye, between the two eyes, it connects us to our intuition. And so we'll take a seated forward fold, reaching the arms up, inhale. And fold your torso over both of your legs as you exhale. Allow your eyes to close and just focus your attention inward. And with the deep breathing to stimulate and relax the brain. And relaxing the forehead center.
rolling yourself back up onto your feet. We'll come onto our back. As you come onto your back, we'll slow or slowly down. And hug both the knees into the center. And hugging the knees in and just rock the hips, the low back, side to side. And allow the knees to fall off to the right side of the room as you split your arms open wide for a supine stretch. You can set a soft drishti towards your left thumb or close the eyes completely. And intuition is something that is now being studied for healthcare, and for the military. And then it's a, a phenomenon that occurs when we are in positive states of mind. It can occur when we are being negative. So here, just releasing any, any negativity and just getting present. Feeling your body coming back into that homeostasis, that balance. Take the knees back into the chest, give them a little squeeze, and then send them off to the left side of your mat. So keeping those arms splayed open, the shoulder blades relaxed to the mat. You know, when we follow our intuition, we can stop trying to control everything. So we have faith. We have both knees into the chest. And take your forehead center and just bring it into the knees. And then expand yourself out for Shavasana, where we finish here on the seventh chakra, which is at the top of the head, the crown of the head. And here we stop trying to control, stop being everybody's um, manager, we let go. And really for this energy center, there's no words. It's just pure consciousness. Shavasana. Really bringing your awareness back into the room, back into the body and your breath. Or moving, just feel the electromagnetic pull of the body, bring any worries, any concerns, just letting them go here. Feeling in the fingers and the toes, 
Come and take a long body stretch, reaching the arms behind you, pointing the toes out in front of you. You can blink the eyes open. Breathe in. Exhale. Sigh it out. Take the knees into the chest. Roll off to the right side of your mat. Curl up into this little ball. Press yourself up into a seat. And we'll come into meditation here. I'm just bringing the hands into the lap. You can bring the fingertips to touch. Feeling that palm. Just doing one last scan of the body from the base of the spine all the way to the crown of your head. Taking the hands into the heart, and the thumbs to the third eye. Namaste.